Bored of the big five? Tired of the top tier? Weary of the well-known? I've got you covered. This is The Road Less Travelled, where we explore some of the lesser played leagues in FM. Today, we take a look at South Africa. As the only nation selectable without downloading editor files, South Africa holds a very unique place in FM. It's not a great choice if you want to embark on a journeyman career, as it can be difficult to build up a continental reputation when stuck in one country. But, for that very reason, it might be the best choice for a builder nation save. So what is a builder nation save? Simply put, it's where you look to improve the standing of an entire nation in footballing terms. This is not just about building success for your own team, but improving your competitors too, cementing the domestic league as one of the very best in the world and developing the infrastructure to help catapult the national team up the FIFA world rankings. The South African national team, affectionately known as Bafana Bafana, have not had much to cheer about in recent times. Between 1996 and 2002, South Africa reached the African Cup of Nations final twice, winning once, and twice qualified for the World Cup. Outside of hosting the 2010 World Cup, South Africa have failed to meet these achievements since. It has been a long, barren spell for a team that once looked to be in the ascendancy, producing quality players such as Benny McCarthy, Lucas Khredebe and Dr Kumalo. At game start, they are 65th in the world standings, and whilst they have some talented players, notably Percy Toe, there is not enough quality and depth to be considered contenders for any major tournament. This is where things start to get confusing. While some long established teams remain, many teams have been sold, merged and relocated, and tracking their history can be an absolute minefield. Let's take a look at Jakuma, or TTM as they are often referred to. In 2017, Cape Town based Milano United FC, who played in the National First Division, which is South Africa's second division, were bought by new owners. The team was relocated to Toyandu and rebranded as TTM. Three years later, the owners bought Johannesburg's Bidvest Fitz FC, a team playing in the DSTV Premiership, which is South Africa's top division, and they'd won their first league title in their 99-year history only four years prior. TTM was sold and renamed to Sukukune United. Bidvest Vitz were relocated to Toyandu and rebranded as TTM. Seven months later, and TTM was sold once again. Relocated to Polokwane and rebranded as Marumo Gallants. TTM's owners set their sights on Durban based side Royal AM, back in the National First Division, bought, relocated to Toyando, and rebranded as TTM. Three separate teams, three separate histories, all holding at different times the same name. Royal AM purchased DSTV Premiership side Bloemfontein Celtic, relocated and rebranded. Bidvest Vitz bought third division side Baboa FC and rebranded to Vitz FC. So to recap, TTM used to be Royal AM. They are not the TTM who used to be Bidvest Vitz and are now Marumo Gallants. They're definitely not TTM who used to be Milano United and are now Sekakune United. They have been promoted and relegated without being promoted or relegated. Royal AM used to be Bloemfontein Celtic, who no longer exist, have been promoted without being promoted, and they are not Royal AM, who are now TTM. Bidvest Fitz are now Vitz FC, who used to be Baboa FC, who have been relegated to divisions without being relegated, but are not Bidvest Fitz, who are now Marumo Gallants, a team that has only existed for two years and plays their football in the country's top division. Make sense? Thankfully, none of that matters in FM. Just be aware if you want to look up the history of the team you choose, you might end up down a wiki hole. With club histories all cleared up, let's take a look at the playable divisions. The DSTV Premiership and the National First Division. The DSTV Premiership is South Africa's top division, and here you might find some familiar teams. Mamelodi Sundowns are the PSG of South Africa, having won the title seven of the last nine seasons and start the game as overwhelming favourites. They dominate the lineup of the major best 11, with all but one player playing for Sundowns, and also feature FM legend Andale Jali. Orlando Pirates are another stalwart of South African football. Alongside Sundowns, they're the only other South African team to have won the CAF Champions League. Kermit Erasmus is another player who will be familiar to FM veterans, 
The former Feyenoord youngster returned to South Africa after failing to meet lofty expectations. Kaiser Chiefs are a little behind the other two, and are an interesting option if you're looking for a team who could compete, but would still present a challenge. They underperformed in real life, finishing fifth, but most excellent facilities and play at the impressive 87,000-seater FNB Stadium. Sekakune are another team sporting a familiar name, Mahelo Mugocho. Another former final youngster, he fared better than Erasmus in Europe, but has finally returned to South Africa after a spell in the MLS. Further down, Marumo Gallants might be a team to consider for a challenge. The team, formerly known as TTM, formerly known as Bidvest Fits, finished rock bottom in real life and have some of the worst facilities in the league. As far as rules go, it's pretty straightforward. There's 16 teams and you play each team twice. The top team is crowned as champions, with goal difference, then goal scored used as tiebreakers. The bottom side is relegated. The team that finishes in 15th goes into a playoff mini league with the teams in 2nd and 3rd from the division below. You're allowed only 5 foreign players in the squad, but there are no further restrictions come match day. The National 1st Division is South Africa's 2nd Division, and perhaps surprisingly a Veterans League, with only 2 of the major Dream 11 under 30 years of age. Cape Town Spurs, formerly Ajax Cape Town, formerly Cape Town Spurs, are the clear favourites here and have one of the most balanced squads in the league sporting a healthy mix of seasoned internationals and promising youngsters. Promotion should be easy, but the challenge starts once you reach the Premiership. Recently relegated Barocca are expected to give them a run for their money, but the squad has been ripped apart after relegation and this might be more of a challenge than it appears on the surface. Holokwane City have arguably the best striker in the division in Pulang Marema and won the division on goal difference in real life. For me, Pretoria Callies are one of the more interesting teams. They're one of the oldest teams still in existence and they've never won a division title. They also have one of my favourite players at this level, Oswin Apollis. The tricksy, diminutive winger will be hard to keep hold of after the first season, but has the potential to be an absolute star. Whilst there is a similar five foreign player squad limit to the DSTV Premiership, the National First Division goes a little bit further, restricting it to only three foreign players in a matchday squad. You are also required to name three under 23 players in the starting 11. As mentioned before, only one team is guaranteed promotion, the league winners. Second and third place enter into a playoff mini league with the DSTV's Premiership's 15th place team, with only one team emerging. The bottom two teams are relegated to the Montsepe League. The biggest challenge here is contracts. There is a maximum one year length for all players. Expect plenty of turnover if you start at this level, as your best players will be poached for absolutely nothing. South Africa might not be everyone's first choice of league when starting a new FM career, but it's a fantastic place to explore if you want to try something a little different. With a relatively short domestic season, only 30 league games, it's possible to progress through years at a reasonable pace, allowing you to focus on developing players and bringing glory back to Bafana Bafana. If you've made it this far, thank you. Have you played in South Africa? Or is there a league that's often overlooked that you'd recommend to your fellow FM players? Let me know in the comments, and if you're feeling super generous, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Until next time.